Let me begin by just saying this. The evening is not over yet. Let's no, 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 no. Okay. The results so far are fantastic. We have won. We have won a beautiful victory here in our home city. We have won a smashing victory in Rutland. And from what I understand, if you can believe this, our friends in Wyndham County have given us Brattleboro two to one. So at this point, and the other thing is we are winning Many of the smaller towns, we won a beautiful victory in Castleton. And in Essex Junction, which you know. <laughs> so at this point, at this point, things look very, very good. But the evening, no, 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 let me be serious. No, no, no. You see, I have, we went through something two years ago. You all remember two years ago? All right. So tonight we're going to, before we say anything definitive, we're going to wait a little bit more. But I think at this point, what we can say. You did it! No. What we can say is that we put together in this campaign the strongest grassroots movement this state has ever seen. We have put a thousand people onto the streets and back roads of the state of Vermont. And that's why we're, that's 2,000, all right. That's, that's why we're where we are, that's why we're where we are right now. And let me simply at this point thank so many people, there are just too many people to name, the staff that we put together in Burlington and Rachel Levin and all the people. People in town by town. We have hundreds of people in Wyndham County, great group in Bennington County, Washington County, Franklin County, Addison County. Just an extraordinary group of people. So I think at this point what we will do is, is listen to more results. Obviously we'll have more to say later, but I could say at this point things look good and thank you all very much.
Okay, as I as I understand it, Congressman Smith has just conceded. ago we conceded and I know the pain that he feels but now our job is not to look back on the past but to go forward and to show the country that the state of Vermont is prepared to lead the nation yeah! Tonight, tonight, I am extraordinarily proud of our staff, of our campaign organization, of our volunteers, but even more, I am as proud as I can be of the people in our state who showed the courage to go outside of the two-party system the courage to stand up to the president and the vice president and every multinational corporation in America. <laughs> and showed, showed the courage to say as boldly as we could say as a state, that there is something fundamentally wrong with Washington, that Congress is out of touch with the needs of the elderly, of working people, and of the poor, and that we as a state are prepared to lead, to radically change the priorities of this nation. There's one point that I've been making throughout the campaign, and I want to make it again tonight. And that is, you all understand that it is not going to be Bernie Sanders or any other member of Congress that's going to bring about the change that we need. That what we need in this country is a mass movement of tens of millions of people who are prepared to stand up and say, we want national health care. We want the millionaires and the multinational corporations who have not been paying their fair share of taxes to start paying. That we want money going into education and environmental protection And no more Star Wars or self farming. I remember 
I think back now, in 1981, when we won in Burlington, and I was thinking at that point that the city of Burlington, one small city, could play a role in changing the value system, perhaps, of this country. And I think Burlington has played a role. And tonight, as I stand before you, I think that maybe one small state might go down in history as being the leading state in the fight for a political revolution. A political revolution would take power away from the multinationals and the wealthy and gives it back to the people where it belongs. that tonight is not the end, but it's the beginning. And we will not succeed unless all of us, workers and farmers and women, peace activists, environmentalists, independent people who want to reclaim this nation for all of us, begin to stand up and fight for what's right. And that's what we intend to do in Congress. Thank you all very, very much. <laughs>